Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show how to use a Python library called NashPy um, to represent normal form games. So um, what we need to do is first of all install it on your computer, assuming you've already installed Anaconda, which you need to, to install. Then um, we just need an internet connection to get NashPy on the computer. So um, on uh, to do this on a Mac, you use the terminal. On uh, Windows, uh, I would recommend using Anaconda Prompt. And then in there, we just type pip install. And this is actually a very powerful command. It lets us install all sorts of Python packages that are available to us. It's one of the huge strengths of Python. But the one we want in particular is one called NashPy. So we type pip install NashPy, and we press enter. What this then does, it goes and it'll download and install NashPy. Um, then what we can do is we can go over um, to uh, Jupyter. So this is my Jupyter setup here. And I'm, I've navigated to a particular folder I want to put this notebook in. And I'm going to create a new notebook. So I'm going to say a new notebook with Python uh, 3. You might have different things listed there, but it doesn't really, uh, as long as you pick the right one, should be fine. Um, I'm going to call this notebook Wait for it to open. Uh, and I'm going to call this notebook representing normal form games. So I'm just going to rename that. And so here I can start uh, using NashPy. So the first thing we need to do is import it. So we're going to import NashPy. And just to make typing a little bit quicker, we'll import NashPy as Nash. And so if I run that cell, Um, that's run, and now we can, for example, take a look at which version of NashPy uh, we've got. So this is version 0 0.017, and we can start um, using this. So what we're going to do is represent a particular game using two matrices, and the game we're going to represent is one called Battle of the Sexes. So utilities are 3, 1 in the first row, and 0, 2 in the second row for the first matrix, and for the second matrix, it's a very similar. It's 2 one in the first row, and zero, three in the second row. And then we can just create our game, battle of the sexes to be nash.game, and we pass it A and B. Now if we run that, nothing happens. We've just created this battle of the sexes object. And if we take a look at that, we see uh, the representation of what it looks like. So it's a bi-matrix game, and the two pair of matrices, the row player has three, one, zero, two, and the column player has two, one, Zero, three. Um, another game that uh, we can um, look at is one called Matching Pennies. So in Matching Pennies, the payoff matrices are uh, as so. So one minus one in the first row, and minus one one in the second. The B matrix is the second player matrix is just the opposite. So minus one times what we have, and now if we create matching pennies, we go nash.game A and B. If we take a look at that, we see a slight difference already that NashPy knows that this is what's called a zero-sum game. So in a zero-sum game, what we have is that the row player's payoff matrix is minus one times the column player's payoff matrix. And all that means um, in an interpretable, interpretable a way is that anything that the role player gains is exactly the opposite of what the column player gains. So if I win, you lose. Whereas in the previous game, the more general by matrix game, it's not necessarily that way. So um, if we're in this first cell, so I've chosen the first column, the first row, and you've chosen the first column, then I get three and you get two. So there's no really uh, losers and winners here. Um, we can, when we, uh, if we want, define matching pennies a different way. Um, if we give NashPy a single matrix, then it will automatically assume we have a zero-sum game. And what we can use NashPy to do is calculate utilities, is uh, calculate Nash equilibria, and do all sorts of things. And we'll see that as we go along.